Continuing on with the audio side of the 2016 Skyrim modding guide, episode 27 looks at soundtrack slash music mods. We cover some basic concepts and then use music mods merge to combine a large number of these soundtracks into Skyrim. If you'd rather do away with the music altogether or partly in your game, I've got a mod that does that too. Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and in this episode we're going to be looking at soundtrack, or rather, music mods. And in the background you'll be hearing music throughout, and those are different selections I've chosen from the different soundtrack mods that I've picked up and kind of looked at. I've converted some of the files over so I could you know, play them in the background. So you'll see a, you know, a little name pop up with a selection from one of the soundtracks to go along with the music so you know exactly what you're listening to. So let's get started, and when I started to look at these mods, I was harking back to a conversation I had with another YouTuber about music in the background and how we always turn off the music because of copyright strikes. That's always something I've done. But with Skyrim, when you do that and you turn the music all the way down, you lose certain sound effects, such as Level Up and a few of the others, that you don't hear anymore. When you discover a location, it doesn't pop up with music to tell you that you found a location. So when you actually turn the music down in your slider, you're actually losing certain sound effects that are not just music because of the limited selection you have on the different sliders in the settings menu. So I wanted to go ahead and find a mod that would do the same thing for me if I was going to do a Let's Play, because when I'm playing by myself, I don't really care. But for a Let's Play, probably having certain sound effects for level up, finding locations may be useful to you. But I approached it from a different angle. I said to myself, well, what if someone wanted to have more music and they really like having a soundtrack in the background, but they're tired of uh, the original soundtrack from Skyrim. So what music mods are out there and what do they do? So that's what I started out with. I just started to pull up different ones. And these are some of the ones I found that add a lot. You have first off Fantasy Soundtrack by ACQ. A modder I've seen before. It was around since uh, 2013. It has approximately 8 hours of soundtrack. So that's actually, excuse me, 12 hours plus of new music for Skyrim. So it has 235 orchestral and instrumental fantasy and epic music tracks for exploring towns, taverns, and castles. So there's one of them. That's mod number 46518. And then you have additional music project by Eva. Evil Blue Koala, mod number 28951, and this has, how many hours does it have on this? I forget. 3 hours, 43 minutes, and 53 seconds of music. So that's another one, about 60 tracks on that. Uh, you have Immersive Music by Hot Trooper 44 that's mod number 66612, and it has two different files, one for exploration and one for epic battle music. And there's 4 hours for exploration and 1.5 hours for epic battle music. And uh, this one is very good. It has a lot of different things, including stuff from Witcher 3 and a bunch of other music that is out there. And then you have, this is a smaller example. This is a soundtrack mod by Near Shore and uh, upload by Fustra and it's mod number 56083. And it only really has three tracks, but you know, the ones they have are really good. When you talk about music mods, and there's a couple terms that you need to know about this, you will see terms as replacer versus non-replacer. A replacer ESP, or a replacer soundtrack, replaces all of the original soundtrack from Skyrim. A non-replacer adds the music to the game so that you get a mix of the new soundtrack with the old soundtrack. So for a fantasy soundtrack, project, you would hear a mix of the old and the new together. And that goes throughout the same. Now, with that in mind, you know, installation, all these are pretty simple. Some use foam mods, some use simple installers, but we'll go through and just kind of show you the difference between the two. But I thought to myself, well, you know what, what if someone wanted to have all the music from all the different soundtracks combined, all these different mods combined into one big thing? And I found something called Music Mods Merged by IR Bob. IR Bob. And it's mod number 68256. And what he's done is put together all these different soundtracks and he merged them into one ESP. So 
what you can do is, you know, download one, and the mod author says, if you don't want to use a certain mod, don't install it. It seems to work just fine. And in my testing, it did. So you have all these different versions here, and there are a couple of different notes on them. You download the Fantasy Soundtrack Project, ESP, and then the Fantasy Soundtrack Project Combat.ESP, and then you remove them from the mod. So all you're left with is the XVM, or XWM file. And those would be integrated into the mod and you would go ahead and then add on the Merge Music ESP Replacer or the Muse Music Merge NR non-replacer provided by this mod. And what you're going to do, and we'll just use Fantasy Soundtrack Project as an example, you'd go to that page and you would go through the download section and you can see right here you'd have the main file right here so you download that with manager and then you have the combat music 4.0 and you download that with manager and you have the individual files in the instructions for each of these you can see continue on with the different ones you want to download additional music project and it says to deactivate the mod the esps immersive music you know deactivate the esps you know, get the idea from the instructions and then there are a couple of loose files included with the BSAs for Celtic Music and Skyrim. Uh, download everything except for that and deactivate it. If you want to use a loose file instead of a BSA version, you can go ahead and do that. Now, there are a couple exceptions to this, and this JDR soundtrack compilation. They are not in an XWM format. The mod author IR Bob went ahead and converted to an XWM, and he includes them on their download page. And the same thing goes with Dawn of Hope and Creepy Dungeon Music. And uh, don't download them there, but if you want to endorse them, you can. But download the XWN conversions on the download page here. And you can see all those instructions. When you come to the file section on this page, Music Mods Merge, you come to the files, you're going to see the two versions. You have the Music Merge Non-Replacer version 8, and this was updated back in October of last year and the Music Merge Replacer. So that's the two terms we're talking about. Non-Replacer mixes all that music that you just downloaded in with the original soundtrack, and the Replacer eliminates all of the original soundtrack and you only have the new music. And here are those updates that, you know, that we talked about. Here's the loose music for, loose files for Celtic music. And then you have the Creepy Dungeons, Dawn of Hope, and the Music Merge JDR soundtrack. These are all XWM files that don't have any ESPs combined with them, but you would go ahead and download them by their own and install them just as you would in the other mods. You just don't have any ESPs to remove. So let's go into Mod Organizer and I'll show you what I did on this. You can see I have all this, just a selection of four of them right here that I went ahead and just installed. And what I did was I started with one of them. I think I started with Fantasy Soundtrack Project and I downloaded, just installed that. There you go. And you, on this one, Fantasy Soundtrack Project, you're going to be getting a faux mod for this. And you can see the music files are what you'll be downloading. So those are the XWM files. And then you click Next. You get the selection of replacer on non-replacer versions. It doesn't really matter for this as far as, you know, using with music mods merged. Uh, which one you you uh, install the replacer and the non-replacer, you'll be eliminating the ESP anyway. So you'd go ahead and just install it. When you activate it, you can see over here in plugins, it has actually added a new ESP at the bottom. So double click it, open up optional ESPs, and you're going to take that ESP and move it up to optional. That's probably the easiest way to do this and just close it down. Now for the other mods that you may have, you'll have uh, additional music project, double click it, and you can see it's in a traditional install, manual, and then you have the music which you want to have, and then you have an option of either the music project or the replacer. So in this case, you would this would be the non-replacer, and this is the one that replaces the OST. You could either install both of these, and it would give you options for later on, or you could deactivate both of them, and it will not install any ESPs to begin with. In this case, I would probably go ahead and install both those ESPs and click OK. And the only reason why I do this is because you want to have options. You go into your optional ESPs and you move them up and up 
and of course you under your file tree now all you have is music under your optional or your ESPs because they're not activated. So that's how that works and you go ahead and continue to go down this whole list of things and you would have all these different music plugins. So let's say you did the same thing with uh, the optional combat, you put that in. Musical lore, this is near shores. You can go ahead and manually install it and you can see musical or ESP, it does not have an option as far as, you know, replacer or non-replacer. This is probably a non-replacer version because it's only three songs, but you get the idea. So go ahead and add that on in and then you'd go in and remove the ESP. Now you've got your selection of music all ready to go and what do you do with this? I would first off slide these all the way up because they're just XWM files. The only thing they're replacing is the initial, the original versions of the OST when we're all done. Why did I mess this up now? I guess I wasn't paying attention while I was talking. Hang on. There you go. Slide them all up and that's fine. Just, just, just an idea. You can slide them way up. So when you come to music merged, replacer and non-replacer, you can go ahead and just remember where we're at and you can see music merge replacer. In my testing, what I did was I installed one. Let's say it was music lore, didn't really matter when in my testing, I just chose one. Chose to use the music merge replacer, that way I knew it worked. Yeah, I could tell right away if it worked that way, I'd only hear music lore. When you install this, and you get manual, and you're gonna see music merge at ESP. I went ahead, installed it, activated it, put the plugin in, let loot figure itself out. It's gonna slide it up, that's fine. When you had this, I chose music lore first. I think I remember, I think it was fantasy project. I don't remember which one. I tested with one of them and then I added another one, tested it again, added a third, and it all seemed to work just fine. It would replace the OST with the new music just fine. It was harder to test with the non-replacer version because you have the original soundtrack mixed with other music, so you had to kind of play with it a little bit, but it did work just fine. By only having one or two mods in at the same time, you don't need to download all those mods to make it to work. It's gonna work just fine with one, two, four, six, whatever the combination of mods you want to have. You know, this works just fine as far as the music merge goes. Now, when running this through TS5 Edit, I did notice there was something that was of note, and I'm going to set it up so you can see it exactly, so bear with me, I'm going to do this real fast. All right, we're all set up. Here you have musicmerge.esp, and remember before in Sounds of Skyrim, I said it was making a lot of changes to ELE? Well, you can see Music Merge mod does the same thing. Now, we're only talking about 21 conflicts in the music merge.esp that's overriding instances of ELE, as opposed to a couple hundred when we're talking about Sounds of Skyrim. This may be an option where you can go ahead and learn how to make your own patches. And it's fairly simple to do, but I'm just going, rather than show you, you know, how to do it and walk you through all the steps, I'm going to direct you to a video done by a mod creator called Fading Signal, and he is very well known, he is very respected, and he does some really good stuff. You may know True Storms. Uh, he did a video on how to make patches, and he has a very short series on how to use TS5 Edit for different things. And I'm going to direct you to over here, and you see a little icon pop up for YouTube, direct you to that video on how to make patches. And it's actually pretty simple on how to do it, but go ahead and watch that video. It is a good learning tool if you want to learn how to make a TS5 patch for a specific mod. In other words, this would be an ELE music merge mod patch, and it would make all those changes and you would create your own patch. It's a good tool to learn, good skill to have, so do that. But I wanted to point this out to you. That's all we're going to talk about on that. So you get the basics. Just remember to remove all the different ESPs whether you do it on installation or whether you go back into the 
mod itself. Where did I put those darn things? Oh, again, I've lost them. Just remember to go back in and remove the ESP and move it up to optional. And it should work just fine. So let me just go ahead and remove these things and we'll get to the next thing. Now we're going to talk about something very specific for me. I always turn down the music, like I said, and turn down the sliders. Well, I need to have the sliders up for the rest of the sound effects, but I don't want to have the sound to track because there may be times as a YouTube creator that I want to have my own music overlaying it or I want to have it fade in and out on my own choosing rather than have a soundtrack play in the background. Plus experience with copyright strikes. Yeah, I don't want to have that. But anyways, the other option is sometimes you just want to have that immersive playthrough where you don't have any soundtrack at all. You just hear the ambient sounds, the footsteps, all the stuff that's going on in the game rather than get distracted by the music. There were a couple different mods that handled that. I'm going to show you the one I finally chose, and that is called Kill the Orchestra by Alternity, and it was done back in 2014. It hasn't gotten many endorsements, but it is a useful mod, and there are a couple more that do very similar things, but I chose this one after playing with it and testing it because it has a faux mod that allows you to do different things allow you to choose the mods or the music that you want to have. So you can go through and read this stuff and basically it's just installing a silent music file which the game will load instead of the original music, disabling it. It's a better choice than disabling the music completely. So it's a very simple thing. I would say, you know, it's something that if you don't want music, this is probably one, the one you want, especially because it will allow you to choose the type of music you want to eliminate. And the next is being slow again. There we go. Kill the Orchestra version 3.1, Octo Octo updated in October of 2015. Go ahead and download that with Manager. It is a dual scripted installer for Nexus Mod Manager Rybash. Should also work for Mod Organizer. It does, don't worry about it. So download that with Manager. When you come over to Mod Organizer, you will see it in my downloads, right? I should probably removed all these. Let's see, Kill the Orchestra. Where did I put it? Right there. Kill the Orchestra, double click to install and you get the faux mod and go ahead and you can see all the different stuff that it will silence. So combat music generic, combat music bosses. If you want something a little more epic just for the bosses, instead of every skeever that you run across, you don't want combat music for them, you can go ahead and leave that unchecked, which actually sounds like a good idea. Good idea. Discover generic location. It has. You didn't know this had its own music, did you? It does that, but if you want to go ahead and deactivate these, you can. Whatever you wanted to deactivate or leave activated, you can because it has options, and you know I like options. You have reward music, tavern music, town music. You know tavern music, did five different tracks, it has nothing to do with the, what the bard is playing. It just has to do with the t music in the background of the tavern that you may or may not even notice it was there. Word wall music, okay. Next, and then you get Dawn Guard Music Selections, the Soul Cairn, Special Eclipse. There's a Music Trans track for when you have the Eclipse. I would probably leave that in. And click Next, and you have the Dragonborn Music. Explore, no, Apocrypha Music. Special Boat Arrival Music, that one might be nice to have. And you go ahead and install it. So you go ahead and activate it, and you will see it's making changes to Dawn Guard and Dragonborn, but you can also count Skyrim in with that because it's changing the files on the music. You could slide this up because there is no plugin involved with this. So you can slide this all the way up with the rest of your kind of whatever mods you have at the top of your loader because it's not really changing anything as far as well, anything that might be below it. So something like Fix Lip Sync. You can put it right after that because the only files it's overwriting are Dongard and Dragonborn. Go in, play your game, and if you don't like the way it works, just go ahead and reinstall the mod, make new selections on what you think you may want to have, try it out with different combinations. You may find one you like very well, or just disable it all and see what you think of that. So that's what I'll be using is Kill the Orchestra because I want to probably have any Let's Play I do for YouTube. I want to be able to put my own music in the, in the background for dramatic effect or whatever else. So that's it, guys. I'm going to close this down. And that was actually, you know, part three of the music and sound effects series on this, but I had to break it up in three episodes. 
Obviously, for length, it took a little bit longer to do all three of them combined once I started working on it. So that's it for now, guys. I'm going to move on to new stuff, get away from sounds and music for a little while. And I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off. <laughs>